first at six, the family business gone in seconds. An Arlington man woke up to find his food truck stolen. It was just one of several crimes on his street overnight. Now he's left wondering how he'll make ends meet. News 8's Monica Hernandez has his story. Well, imagine waking up and realizing your entire business is gone. Well, that's what happened to one man who had a food truck parked in front of his house, and now he has this plea. It's hard. It's yeah. hard. Hard to believe it's empty, where Justin Williams kept his pride and joy. I built that trailer with my bare hands. He built Rock Bottom Barbecue from the ground up. Oh, this is my livelihood. This is the way I feed my kids, you know. And the Arlington food truck has a following. Justin even got a new pickup to haul it. Both were stolen in the middle of the night in front of his West Arlington home. For somebody just to be able to take something from you like that, man, it's just wrong, you know, and I know it hurts, it hurts. Thieves broke into his wife's car first. Justin's keys were inside. They got me, you know what I'm saying? They, they, <laughs> they broke me down. All the way down. Police say it's one of half a dozen car break ins in Justin's neighborhood overnight. His was the only one stolen. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, just pray. Now, Justin's doing what he can to keep his family safe. But how he'll provide is a bigger challenge. This is where I buy Pampers and pay for her daycare, you know, and shoot, without that truck, I'm just sitting still, you know. Sitting and praying. The Arlington police catch the suspects and find his food trailer. And I don't have no hard feelings. I just want my truck back, my trailer. Police are stepping up patrols in the area and reminding everyone to lock their car doors and never leave keys inside. Monica Hernandez, Channel 8 News.